Are you worried about the potential of a new pandemic? Unfortunately, it might be closer than we think. In this video, we're going to discuss norovirus and why it could be the next major outbreak. From signs and symptoms to prevention measures and treatments, we'll help you learn how to protect yourself from this highly contagious virus. In recent years, we have seen an increase in cases of norovirus infections around the world. This virus has caused much concern as it has been linked to outbreaks in hospitals, schools and other public places. So today, we're talking about why the norovirus could be considered a potential pandemic threat. Could it become the next COVID? How can you best protect yourself? All of this and more, we'll answer in today's video. Before we jump into it, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's get into it. What is norovirus? Norovirus is a highly infectious virus that can cause severe vomiting and diarrhea. It is the most common cause of foodborne illness in the United States, with approximately 20 million people developing acute gastroenteritis from norovirus each year. It is also a leading cause of hospitalizations for dehydration and death among children under 5 years of age. Norovirus has been linked to outbreaks on cruise ships and in hospitals, nursing homes, schools, daycare centers, and other places where people congregate. The norovirus can spread through contact with an infected person, contaminated food or water, or by touching contaminated surfaces. Person-to-person -person transmission happens when an infected person doesn't wash their hands after using the bathroom and then touches another person or object or handles. Contaminated food or water can transmit the virus if an infected person handles it without wearing gloves or washing their hands afterwards. The virus can also survive on surfaces for several days, so touching objects that have been touched by someone carrying the virus may result in contamination as well. Symptoms of norovirus include nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, and watery diarrhea. Other symptoms may include fever, headache, chills, and muscle aches. However, these are typically milder than those caused by other types of gastroenteritis viruses such as rotavirus or adenovirus. Symptoms usually begin 12 to 48 hours after infection and last for 1 to 3 days. Most people recover without medical treatment. However, some people may experience severe complications such as dehydration due to loss of fluids from vomiting and diarrhea. In young children and elderly adults who are most at risk of dehydration due to their smaller body size and reduced fluid reserves, norovirus infection can be particularly dangerous as it could lead to hospitalization if not treated promptly with rehydration therapy. Can it become the new pandemic? The norovirus is a highly contagious virus that can lead to severe stomach pain, vomiting and diarrhea. It is estimated that this virus affects up to 20 million people worldwide each year, making it one of the most common types of gastroenteritis. While norovirus outbreaks have been seen in many parts of the world, it is particularly prevalent in developed countries. As such, there are numerous questions about whether or not this virus could become the next global pandemic. One aspect of norovirus that makes it so dangerous is its ability to spread quickly from person-to-person -person contact. The virus itself does not survive long outside a host body, but it can be transmitted through close contact with an infected individual or by touching contaminated surfaces and objects. Additionally, norovirus particles can remain viable on food items for up to four weeks and can even spread through contaminated water sources. Given these conditions, medical experts warn that if left unchecked, Norovirus has the potential to become an epidemic or even a pandemic due to its ability to spread quickly and easily among vulnerable populations around the globe. In fact, past outbreaks have caused significant disruption in places such as schools, nursing homes and cruise ships where large numbers of people are confined into small spaces. The World Health Organization WHO, states that those most at risk include young children, the elderly and those who have weakened immune systems due to chronic health conditions or illness. What makes norovirus particularly deadly is its lack of treatments available for infected individuals. Antibiotics do not work against viruses and there are currently no vaccines available for protection from this particular strain either. Symptoms usually clear up after a few days without any medical intervention needed, although they can last longer in some cases which further complicates efforts towards containing outbreaks before they spread too far beyond control. Although scientists are working hard on finding solutions for tackling this virus, until then, public health authorities need to take proactive steps towards prevention 
by emphasizing proper hygiene practices, such as frequent hand washing and cleaning potentially contaminated surfaces regularly with disinfectants. The COVID-19 pandemic has laid the foundations for us to be more vulnerable to other viruses, including norovirus. Norovirus is a particularly contagious virus that is mainly spread through contaminated food or water and contact with an infected person. Due to the pandemic, many individuals have become less mindful of their hygiene habits, which can make them more susceptible to norovirus. People are sharing cutlery and towels without sanitizing them sufficiently, not washing their hands before eating, leaving trash uncollected, and even having close contact with sick people without masks or protective gear. All of these put people at a higher risk of acquiring norovirus infection. Public health experts have warned that if we don't take necessary steps to prevent it from spreading further, norovirus could become the next big pandemic after COVID-19. Can norovirus be prevented? Unfortunately, there is no vaccine or medication that can protect people from contracting the virus. The best thing one can do to avoid getting infected is to maintain good hygiene by washing their hands regularly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds after using the bathroom, before eating and preparing food, after touching animals and their waste, and after changing diapers. Additionally, it's important to avoid consuming raw or uncooked food items like shellfish or oysters that may contain the virus. Noroviruses thrive in these types of environments. In addition to practicing good hygiene habits, those living with a person infected with norovirus should also take extra precautionary measures, such as cleaning surfaces like doorknobs and countertops, which have been touched by an ill person, using hot water and chlorine bleach. Washing any clothing or linens used by the infected individual separately on high heat, disinfecting toilets frequently, preventing cross-contamination by avoiding sharing utensils, avoiding close contact with anyone who has been ill with norovirus, avoiding swimming pools while sick, and staying home from work or school until 48 hours after the symptoms have ended. Understanding how this virus is spread is key to preventing its transmission. In most cases, norovirus spreads through close contact with an infected person, either directly by touching them or indirectly by touching surfaces they have touched. It can also spread when people eat contaminated food or drink contaminated drinks, such as seafood contaminated with sewage water or when people touch contaminated surfaces and then put their hands in their mouths without washing them first. As such, proper hygiene practices are essential in helping prevent the transmission of this virus. It is vital that people practice good hygiene habits such as washing hands regularly with soap and warm water before eating or handling food, thoroughly cooking foods, especially shellfish, avoiding contact with anyone who is exhibiting symptoms of norovirus, Disinfecting surfaces frequently in areas where there are large numbers of people such as restaurants, schools, childcare facilities, etc. Properly storing food in clean containers at proper temperatures, washing fruits and vegetables before eating them, avoiding raw oysters, refraining from swimming while ill or having recently recovered from a norovirus infection, not preparing food while sick or shortly after recovering from an illness, always following instructions on how to prepare ready-to-eat food safely, Always washing hands after going to the bathroom. This applies both when swimming in pools, lakes, oceans, but also when at home. Ensuring proper ventilation indoors so that droplets containing viruses don't linger too long in the air, which we breathe, etc. It is also essential for us to keep our vaccination immunizations up to date, as vaccines are the most effective way of preventing us from contracting a virus like a norovirus in the first place. Furthermore, if any symptoms like nausea or vomiting appear suddenly, even when mild, then seek medical advice promptly instead of trying home remedies first. By being vigilant about our hygiene practices and taking preventative measures against norovirus infections, now in the wake of this pandemic period, we can protect ourselves against what could be another potentially devastating epidemic. In conclusion, norovirus is a highly contagious virus that can cause severe gastrointestinal illness. It has caused global outbreaks in the past and it's important to be aware of its potential for causing another pandemic. The best way to protect yourself from norovirus is to practice good hygiene habits, such as washing your hands frequently with soap and water or using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. If you think that you have been exposed to norovirus, seek medical attention right away. Stay informed about this virus so that if there ever is an outbreak, we can all work together towards preventing the further spread of infection. Thank you for watching. Do you think we're on the cusp of a new pandemic? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any important updates and give this video a thumbs up.
See you in the next one.